I'm Matthew Rosendahl. I'm Carly Nemec. My name is Brendan Fritz. I'm Christine. I'm a level 10 and I practice 16 hours a week. I'm 18 years old, I'm a level 10 gymnast, and I train between 16 and 20 hours a week. I am 18, I am a Diamond Excel team member. I train 12 hours a week. I come back to practice every day because I want to try to get better. The fact that I have the potential to push myself as hard as I can and I have the potential to learn new skills and just work my hardest. So every single day coming in and knowing that there's a chance to improve keeps me motivated and wanting to come back into the gym. I love being around my teammates and we know how to have a lot of fun, but we also know when to get going and when to work hard, uh, training for the next meet, getting the next skill. So we, I feel like we have a perfect balance of knowing when to work hard and knowing when to have fun with our sport. You make these friends that you've had, you will literally take with you everywhere and they know you better than anyone else because they see you so often and they see you when you're vulnerable and when you're as strong as you can be. To be a gymnast, I think you need dedication and a lot of commitment. It definitely takes a lot of strength. I think that it takes a lot of determination. Um, you have to be steadfast in what you do. You have to be passionate. Uh, there's a lot of fearlessness that goes into the sport because um, you know, you're doing things that the average human can't do. Mental awareness. You need to be aware of what's going on around you, your body, what your friends are doing, and all the people in the gym. The hardest part, I think, time because I'm in school I have to get all my work done on time and if I practice four hours a day during the week then I might stay up until 12 finishing my homework. The dedication it takes um, coming back every day and the determination to learn new skills and be a part of a team and know that I have to work my hardest to get to where I want to be. Being able to get back up, uh, any good gymnast will tell you that you fall a lot in the sport. And uh, you know, being able to have that drive to get back up and try again is something that you learn to appreciate more. But at the end of the day, you're here to train, and that should be you know, paramount in your life. The fear that comes with it, because there's always that fear that's lying, like I could die right now if I land on my head wrong. Best part, feeling good when you get a new skill. Being able to try a new skill and then work really hard to get it and then eventually getting it and feeling that accomplishment. When you put like a lot of time into a skill and then it finally clicks, like you've taken like over 500 turns on the skill and you think it's impossible and then you come in that one day and it just kind of works and you're so excited like, I just did the skill, I'm so excited. You run around the gym, hug your guys, you're just so emphatic. And this is awesome. When you do get past those fears, you are eight and you nail those skills, you're like, oh my gosh, I just landed that. That is fun. That is awesome. Being a gymnast has taught me how to commit to something I love. To never give up. Perseverance, definitely, in the sense that you have to keep going. It's definitely brought me to be a stronger person mentally and physically because it's a very physical sport and a mental sport. Gymnastics is not like any other sport. Determination. An art form. It's power. If you fall on a scale or if you're feeling really down that day, always think of the positive side and try to get back up and go for it again. I believe that every single time you step onto an apparatus that you're kind of like painting your own picture and it's unique and it's natural. It's the way that you do it. And it's important and it's special. And being able to show that to other people is one of the most amazing things that gymnastics has afforded me. Brendan, get out of the room. <laughs> Folks, look at how happy she looks when she drops it down to the flow. My favorite part of my day is when my coach decides that it's time to stretch me, so here we go. Oh no! Ah! <laughs> you know, that has to go in there. <laughs> I'm gonna start laughing so much, I forgot this. Thank you and good night.